We all love soldering, don't we? Creating your own PCBs for our project is fun. But there are a few things that we should take care while we solder the components into it. During soldering, we are exposed to lead. Also, if we breathe in the fumes, it can cause long-term health issues including digestive issues, memory and concentration issues, muscle and joint pain, etc. In addition to that, soldering components onto the circuit board put strain on your eyes and doing so in dim lighting can eventually cause permanent damage to your eyesight. So, it is very important to have sufficient light and a fume extractor to get rid of the smoke while soldering. Using a fume extractor will keep you and those around you safe from potentially harmful fumes. In this video, we will be making a soldering fume extractor using an old PC fan and an adjustable lighting system with this 12 volt LED strip. So, let's get started with the circuit. I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. Altium is a PCB designer that can be used to create simple PCBs for your hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It is easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are gonna love it. Altium subscription includes something called Altium 365 which will let you design and share and even manufacture your project in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share designs and ideas with teammates or clients. You can download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And if you are a student, you get a 6 month full license absolutely free. Don't miss this opportunity. So, we basically have an Arduino Nano which is the brain of this project and of course you can use any Arduino board. The input voltage is connected to 7805 voltage regulator which will convert the V into a steady 5V DC supply. There are two potentiometers here which are connected to the 5V which will act as voltage dividers and the output of the ports are connected to analog pins A0 and A1 respectively. Here are two MOSFETs which are configured to work as switches. They can be switched on and off by turning on the pin 9 and pin 8 of Arduino. Here, I would like to point out that pin 9 and pin 10 are PWM pins. That means we can feed PWM signals to the MOSFETs. And here you can see LM741 comparator IC which can be used to drive any additional devices that you want. Basically, this is the whole circuit. Now, before you start adding the components to your circuit and design the final PCB, it's always a good idea to have a good knowledge of the components such as specifications, availability as well as price. For that, I would recommend this free site called Octopart. Octopart is an amazing electronics component search engine. You can use Octopart to get details such as distributor, pricing and availability. You can also use Octopart to find the components that meet your requirements. You can even purchase the components by clicking the links here itself. It's a free solution for most of our problems and you will get everything in one place. So make sure you check it out. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here you can see routing is on both sides of the board which means it's a dual layer PCB. I will provide the links to the Gerber file in the description. I ordered the PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. If you are interested in making your own PCBs for your projects, make sure you check out the link below. You can get a $5 discount when you sign up using the link below and get an additional $5 discount at the checkout by providing the coupon code PCBWAYLAB. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Update your board information in the PCB specification screen. On the next screen, you should be able to upload your Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now, let's start coding. This is the code that we will be uploading to your Arduino. Well, it looks pretty simple, right? Well, it is simple. First, we are declaring some variables and assigning it to pins that we will be using in this project. Inside the setup function, we are declaring the pin mode. 
basically telling the Arduino whether they are input pins or output pins. In the loop function, we are taking the analog readings of the two ports and we are mapping it to the values between 0 and 255. In the next line, we are outputting PWM signals with values that we generated from the previous lines to turn on and off the MOSFETs that are connected to the pins 9 and 10. This way, we can control the brightness of the LED strip and control the speed of the fan just by turning the potentiometer. You can connect this fan to a pipe or an outlet and make sure the fumes don't stay inside the room. That's it guys, if you have any doubts about this project, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.